I could definitely let that bitch run. Yo, 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 welcome to the motherfucking neighborhood. Welcome to the neighborhood. Welcome back to the motherfucking neighborhood. If it's your first time in the neighborhood, make sure you bring it back all the way to the bottom of the map. Make sure you bring it back to the bottom of the map. Hey, I bring it back to the bottom of the map. Make sure you go all the way to the beginning. Go to a video called Welcome to, uh, Welcome to the Neighborhood. Um, Watch from Welcome to the Neighborhood all the way to the point you came in on a journey. If you came in in the middle of the journey and there are some episodes after that watch that too but you should watch these in chronological order this is the story of the journey of where god is taking me and my motherfucking life yes i said god and motherfucking in the same sentence bitch this is my life that's yours <laughs> every man is responsible for his own sins boosie if you want to know a little bit about the channel and why i am doing what the fuck i'm doing go to see a video called the thing about hope the thing about hope the thing about hope so today right now what we're about to do we are about to do a mercury taught me you know like yeezy taught me but mercury taught me mercury taught me so for all the people who just coming in on the journey like if you watch the journey from its inception you'll know that i always have different types of face washes on um pause pause fenty fenty break y'all know i'm in my little fenty hoodie look fenty listen like, I can't afford, I got Fenty underwear too, but the only way I'm going to wear my Fenty underwear if somebody pay me to wear them bitches. I'm not showing y'all my thickness for free. So, Rihanna, hit me up. I really want to work for you. Like, if you just, I, I can't afford it, but if you pay me, and like, if you if you give me free shit to wear, um, and people watch my videos because I'm wearing your shit and I get money, I'll buy all of your shit. You know, <laughs> it is what it is. Y'all, I'm working on, I'm trying to talk, uh, Rihanna into letting me become a Fenty ambas ambassador. So I'm gonna, yeah, pound Fenty, um, <laughs> pound Fenty. Um, Rihanna, we can smoke a blunt, talk about it. Um, today's, I I'm gonna be quick. I am, I just got off from work. So, and the crazy thing is, I, I think I really am going to get, um, like a vlogger kit, whatever, whatever. I'll see. I'm trying not to fold. Um, uh, Mercury, Mercury and lessons, lessons and Mercury. Bitch, that's lesson. Le Mercury taught me. Mercury fucking taught me. If, if you know anything about me, like if ever I get big enough and you guys want to send me things, bitch, sticky notes, a bitch love a sticky note. Bitch, red ones, blue ones, orange ones, green ones, yellow ones, black ones, white ones. Bitch, I am... Oh, excuse me. I uh, I love a sticky note. Oh, I want to show y'all my curl pattern too. Um, so I washed my hair. I told y'all I needed to wash my hair. This is what my hair look like. Um, fresh out the shower. Fresh out the shower. Um, like ain't nothing in it. Uh, maybe some coconut oil. Um, I use Garnier fruit teas. One of my staples is motherfucking um. What you call it? What you call it or whatever? Um, VO5, bitch. Like, that shit, 99 cents or whatever. 99 cents or whatever. So, I'm going to put y'all right here while I fucking rewrap my hair. Um, because I don't know what I'm going to do to it. But I just, it was too nasty to let it be what it was, bitch. I was like, uh-uh. My hair is shed so much. I got to go get that hairball out my motherfucking, um, shower, like. Cause I, I, I ain't washed it in a minute. Like I'm so used to having them dreads or something in my head. Like I didn't got unaccustomed to washing my hair. Don't do that shit. That's tragic. I, I wash my hair. I try to wash my hair at least, at least once a week. Um, as soon as I finish wrapping this hair back up, we can talk. We can talk. Can we talk? Eh. For a minute, bitch, girl, I want to know your name. Bitch, that's how I be feeling. Can we talk for a minute? So, um, lessons from, from Mercury. Mercury taught me, and then I am going to watch. Y'all already, you already know I'm going to fucking watch Shit's Creek. Um, and when I say that, just so y'all know, that came up, that's like a New Orleans thing. I want to say that's like, like. Probably on every bounce song. One day I'm gonna play some bounce music on this shit for you. Um, <laughs> in my in my description box, I got uh, I'm a healer that twerk, but I really am. But I really am now. Um, I don't know where my fucking yo. I lost my. There you go. So today I wrote down my lessons. Um, as I learned them. Um, if y'all can see that picture behind me, that's something. That's something I painted. I like I told y'all I rearranged my house. So 
y'all get a different angle. You, you always want to get the different angles, guys. Like, if we just in the same position all the time, then it gets monotonous. Hit, hit the different angles. Hit the daddy stroke. Hit the daddy stroke. Hit the... Okay, I'm six minutes in, and I ain't start talking about what the fuck I was supposed to talk about. <sighs> <laughs> and I be telling people I'm fucking tired and I am tired boss bitch my teeth look white they just be looking like I gotta go I'm probably gonna get some more little uh bleach kiss but that shit hurt the first time I did it I was like my teeth was like bitch what are we doing we black we don't bleach our teeth we do though um so this is my sticky note this is how so Mercury taught me some people just need to be in control it's the reality. Not one that, like, my, my mentor told me today. Uh, she gave me some truth, and it was a truth, and I ain't like it, but it was a truth. And it's so funny. She said to me what I say to you guys all the time. Like, we might not like the truth, but the reality is the reality. But now that you know about it, now you know how to move in it. So that let me know, boom, we resonate. We on the same frequency. Um, so what I learned today, some people just like to be in control. Like, it's sometimes you could do everything, all of the things correct. You could do all of the things and some people just need to have that sense of control. And it's really nothing that you could do about it. Um, when you take that, when you... <sighs> mm. So, I, uh, shout out to Kamaya again. Kamaya, I'm unique. Mm. Um, this is my detox tea. Um, she, she, she drinks different detox tea. Uh, I think she's tea meat. That's something that she uses. Um... But I, you know, I'm cheap. I don't have time for that shit, and I don't got no, I don't got no sponsors. So, her, um, compassion has no limit. Kindness has no enemy. I can drink to, I'll drink to that. Shout out to you again, Rihanna. You just, it's like we meant to be friends. <laughs> um, but this is my detox tea, and she says she drinks hers at night. So basically, when she get in the morning, she can take a shit. She said it a lot cuter. She's so cute. She's so classy. She just like she curse, but she be like she don't like to like say shit like shit. Fuck that shit. Fuck it. Fuck that shit. Hey. Fuck that shit. All right, but. Mm. And I drink my tea with nothing in it. It's just a tea bag and some hot water. That's it. I don't put sugar or anything in my tea. The only time that I do get something and put it in my tea is when y'all see me go to Starbucks. Because that's my favorite thing. And so the real drink is called a medicine ball. Um, I think the Tracy that I told y'all about, um, not Tracy Martin, the other one. I can't think of her name. I got to find her name. I got to find her. I just want to check on her. Um, she put me on medicine ball. Like, so... But that comes, like, if you ask for a medicine ball, I can't do caffeine. It comes with a jade citrus mint, and that has, is a peach tranquility and a, and a jade citrus mint, and I can't have the caffeine, so I don't get it. <sighs> Random shit. Random little, you're welcome. Um, but some people just have to be in control, and I'm not one of those people. You have to understand, there are different archetypes of people in the world. Um, one of the things, like, like I was explaining what Leo was yesterday, like, if, think of it like this. If everybody was put in like a, a like let's just imagine for a minute, all of the bodies of the world were pre pre manufactured bodies. So let's say Nike, Puma, what's another Reebok? Bitch, I love me a good soldiery, bitch. Um, every Nike shoe gonna have a check on it. Cause that's that's how you know it's Nike. Every fucking Puma gonna have either Puma or the actual Puma cat logo on it. Every Reebok gonna have a Reebok logo on it. That's just how it is. So that's how humans are. So when you think about zodiac signs and archetypes and templates, um, humans that are born as Leos, they gonna have like their their body comes with pre like <laughs> it's like a car that that come with the standard bitch like it's different cars different vehicles well this vehicle standard come with like without trying without adding anything extra to it without nothing the leo car comes with certain things you don't have to add nothing to it now you could put some rims on that bitch you can you can get a sunroof put in that bitch you could do all of those things. So when I say rims, like you could you could spice up your attitude. Um, and sometimes there are Leos that are born um, like, like so I'm put into this Leo body. But like depending upon my moon, my moon and my Scorpio. Okay, so my moon and my rising. So okay, I, I explain it like this. So the Leo archetype comes 
preset, just like the standard car. It's like your standard car. Every archetype comes preset. Or every archetype body comes preset. Every archetype body has at least one of these things because that's the standard for that archetype. So, so Leo comes with um, energy because it's a fire sign. Most energy, most Leos, I think every Leo you meet going to be fiery and full of energy. If you ever meet a Leo without energy, check his moon sign. So say that. I'll say that. But most energies are very, very fiery. Now, the accessories on the car, if we're, if we're talking cars and we're making that analogous to the Leo archetypes and archetypes in general, depends on the moon and the rising. So the moon might be how the car ride does is it a luxury car is it a sports car does it go fast what the shocks look what the shocks feel like and the rising is what it look like on the outside like is it is it clean do it ride good you know what i'm saying how sleek do it look is it sleek does is it a car that everybody want is it attractive is it mysterious looking so that's how we can think about sun moon rising i think i, I thought I, I would just tell you that so that's something else mercury taught me that's something mercury and scorpio is being in the depths it's it's it's, it's going deeper so if that's how that's how i would describe the different archetypes and how sun moon rising affects it so sun is just the basic thing. It's the basic ar archetype. The moon tell you how, like, like what the ride gonna feel like. The rising is what it look like on the outside. Cause all cars got seats, but they, they don't all look the same. Some seats got fucking heat on them. Some seats lay all the way back. Some seats bucket. You know what I'm saying? Some cars got a mat on the outside. Some, if, if I was a car, I'd be matte black, bitch. A little chic some bitch. A little gangster something with some with some silver rims or some rose gold rims with black on the inside. Cause that's the type of that's that's how I would be. That that is expression of my creativity. And I think that is very reflective of the Scorpio um rising ar archetype. But sorry, another tangent. Just thought I should talk to y'all about that. Some people need to be in control. Let them be in control. Like like and so I, I think how I got on that is I'm not the type of person that need to be in control. A lot of Leos, they, like, they do like to be the center of attention. Double Leos, and, and even double Leos, like I, I, a young lady that was in my comments, or a young man, I'm sorry. I, I want to say you're a young lady. Um, I want to say it's J Jamari. I, I'm sorry if I'm saying it incorrectly, but uh, she is a double Leo, but she has Virgo moon. And I told her that Virgo moon saving people because she would be giving niggas that motherfucking work. Like she a double Leo, but she got a Virgo moon, and she will give you that work intelligently. Like, uh, eat your ass up, and you'll have to go home and write a dissertation about, damn, this bitch really just ate me up. That, that Virgo moon to get you. That Virgo moon saving you hoes. That Virgo moon saving you hoes. So, if she was a car, and I, and just the archetype, if she was a car, she'll be, she'll be fire hot red on the outside. Fire hot, like, and she'll go fast, but her inside would be, like, it would have everything that's necessary to fit her needs. Um, it would be custom to her because that Virgo moon is all about the details and it'll be lit and, and everything would just literally, it'll like you, you would get her car and be like, Oh yeah, this shit's supposed to be in here. Cause that's her. Um, but everybody's archetype is different and there's different. And there are some people who really need to be in control. I needed to. I needed to be in control at one time. I, I, I wanted to feel like I was in control because the reality is like. My, my, my Momo Banks used to say, you know, <laughs> the only thing you can control yourself is yourself. And sometimes you can't even do that. So like people who need to, to, to be in control, I'm not going to even analyze them. I'm just going to keep my mouth shut on that one. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. So just know that, just know that there are people in the world that need to be controlled. And when you meet them, just move accordingly. Oh, you one of the ones that need to be in control. Oh, okay. Well, this shit. Good thing I like to be controlled sometimes. And, or, like, because I don't, and so that, this is another another thing that Mercury taught me. Like, I don't need to, like, just because you need to be, a lot of people don't like to be, like, let people be in control because they feel like they have a lack or a deficit when somebody's in control. Like, I realized that today when I realized somebody needed to be in control, I could either push back or, or not push back. Well, what am I pushing back for? Like, if you're not, if you're in control and you're not hurting me and you're actually helping me, then go ahead. I'm like, I don't care. Like, like, I don't, I don't care. And so, 
that's another thing on my list. Decide what's important to care about. What's worth your energy and emotions? Do you really want to get mad and get, get your emotions and time and energy to somebody who whose life will not... Uh, I'm, I'm going to try to go lawyer on you. Uh, the What the definition of, of relevance 401, federal rules of evidence, does not let make anything more or less probable. <laughs> Not, like nothing this person does make anything in your life more more or less probable. Them them controlling you, you them trying to control you or them trying to micromanage you, does it hurt you or help you? If it help you good, but if it don't, then okay too. Is it hurting you? No. The only time I feel like you should ever, 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 ever in your life push back is if it's hurting you. And like that's that's it. And a lot of times it don't hurt you. And, and the question is, is it really hurting you or is it hurting your ego? Hello, somebody. Hello. Knock, knock. Are you, are you there? <laughs> are you listening? Is it hurting you or is it hurting your ego? Because if it's hurting your ego, yeah, it ain't worth that either. Like, um, I told y'all, like, I, I have something in my phone with a piece dealer had told us for a certain time to a certain time you can't have no ego. So... Like I, I try, I already try not to be egotistical, but now I'm extra no ego. So like, I am definitely, I told y'all one of the, uh, one of the young men I met told me I need to be more vulnerable. I'm like, yeah, I'm already vulnerable. Now I'm just more vulnerable. I'm just like, I don't know nothing. I, if, even if I know some, I'm going to just act like I don't know nothing. If you think I don't know nothing, teach me, teach me. I'm teachable. What you want me to learn? Figure out what's important. Listen, one thing, the two things that. Listen, and I'm going to tell y'all this. And people are like, don't tell people too much. Let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you because I'm going to tell you. It's two, th it's two things you don't fuck with. My family or my money. I, yeah, I got to go get my nails done. I'm going to get them done Monday. Um, don't fuck with my family or my money. Other than that, like, you ain't ever. I, I'm working on you not ever seeing me pop off again. Like, I even let people fuck with me. Don't fuck with my family and my money. You fuck with my family and my money, you got to go. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Scene. What? Uh, how does the uh, the 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 Wayne brothers go? Scene cut. Like you know, you can't. Don't fuck with my family or my money. You fuck with either of them, and either way, then you could get that work. And even then, it depends on what it is that you do if you gonna get that work. So, cause sometimes you gotta be wise. Some people will fuck with your family and your money just to get a rise out of you. And you gotta world. You gotta uh, understand how to deal with them too. I'm not saying don't deal with them, but deal with them too lessons what my mercury taught me mercury taught me to figure out what's in, what's really really fucking important and when you ask yourself what's really important you move differently when you really realize what's important like i've been i've been cooling all day i wanted to be mad about something but i just was like for what this ain't worth my mad energy smile bitch you blessed I'm blessed and on the way and not on the way. I keep telling y'all, I'm blessed and I'm living out my destiny. Hallelujah. Be quiet. Mercury told me to shut the fuck up. Shut up, bitch. Shut up. And that's not negative self self talk. It's, you know, it is what it is. But shut up. Stop talking, bitch. Close your yappa. Stop talking. Stop fucking talking. Um, when you talk less, you can hear more. So another thing Mercury taught me is I already was observant. Um, is to observe a lot more. Um, who bitch? Who want to be quiet? Want to? And let me tell you, when I say be quiet, it ain't just. It's not. <laughs> it's not just like nobody in the room be quiet. It's like some nigga yapping in my shit. It's some some nigga coming at me. Some nigga trying to get me to talk. Some niggas saying some shit. Some niggas poking the fucking bear. You know how you know how frustrating it is to a nigga that's trying to fuck with you and you just sitting there quiet and smiling, thinking about something else, bitch. Like, bitch, I wonder if this fucking buffalo chicken. I really wish I could have fried that shit. Well, I'm out of rice. I don't know if I got it. And niggas just be talking, like talking out the side of they neck, talking out the side of your neck. Hey, hey, shout out to E. Pebble and Kendrick Kid. I still want my motherfucking saxophone, bitch. We'll talk about that later. I, I keep telling, I don't understand why. I, when my family see this, they're going to think this shit funny. 
it's not funny. <laughs> but another story for another day. Um, so be quiet. And it's not like, and I'm not telling you to be quiet when it's fucking easy to be quiet. Be quiet when it's hard to be quiet. Be quiet when, when a nigga is in your motherfucking ear or, or at your neck or at your head about some shit that really don't fucking matter. Or that really do fucking matter, but you know that you saying anything won't be beneficial. My mama told me, I told y'all yesterday, if you don't say nothing, if you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say shit at all. All right. So I'm at 21 minutes. I always, I talk too fucking much. You talk too much. You never shut up. Shout out to fucking Run DMC. Run. I love Run DMC. I love old school rap. I love old school rap. Two Live Crew, Gucci Crew. Whoa, Sally. Bitch, Sally was a girl. She was looking kind of fine. Whoa, Sally. I love music. <laughs> I love all music. I love I love all music. It doesn't matter. I love all music. Okay. Um, observation to decide. Um, one day at a time, bitch. I'm coming out the motherfucking storm. I'm coming out the storm and... I want to do all of the things all at once, and it's just like sometimes you just can't get up that fast. Sometimes you gotta take it one day at a time. Sometimes you just gotta you gotta fucking observe, and that take one day at a time. You want all of the pieces to be there. You want everything to make sense. You want you want to already be there one day at a time. I, I got a sticky note on my desk at work um, that says one minute, no one 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 day, one hour, one minute. One second. Sometimes you need to go one second at a time. Sometimes it gets so bad that you gotta stop and be like, "Just bitch, I just need to get to the next second." Bitch, yes. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta get to the next motherfucking second. Sometimes you gotta get to the next second. Sometimes getting to the next second is motherfucking imperative. And don't let nobody tell you it's not. And anybody who who try to talk to you how to get to your next second, fuck them. Um. Oh, it's teaching me confidence. Everybody, everybody ain't on this spiritual shit. So it's interesting to watch people who are not in tune or attuned to what's going on in the spiritual realm kind of flush their way through life. Like, flush their way through this energy. Like, you don't know what's going on. It's like, I, if you know what's going on, like, I know that this is going on right now. I know that, you know, that 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 emotions may be high. I know that, you know, that people might be out their body and out their mind. I, I know, I, th I understand that people might be seeing things that they don't usually see, and which is causing them to react the way that they're reacting. Um, and a lot of people have a lot of power that they don't like, and it's a temporary power. Just think about, like, if we go to a video game analogy, just think about like somebody going through the video game, getting a superpower and being able to use it for like 10 seconds. A lot of times, especially if it's your first time in a video game, playing a video game, I grew up with a lot of video games. Uh, I grew up playing video games. Um, but it's like, okay, if you've seen the, the, the movie Power, the, 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 not, the, not the TV show, but the Power Project with Jamie Foxx and the Chick Chica, whose song I be listening to, um, it's like having a power for the first time or, and not, first off, not knowing you have a power or just having it, realize you got it, not knowing anything about it and just wielding it and wielding it and wielding it and just fucking up shit. Like, like having a fire, the, 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 the power to burn things down and it's only temporary. And you're not a firebender. You don't you don't know how to use fire, but you got it and you just going to walk around fucking shit up. Meanwhile, <laughs> back at Firebender Ranch, um the firebenders is looking at these people, would you look at that nigga? This nigga don't know this nigga. And and, and a lot of people not smart enough to ask for help one because they they just don't believe in it and they don't like they they can see the shit in front of their face and still not believe it you know what i'm saying um they they just don't believe in it or they don't you know subscribe to it or they just uh, disillusion and they don't ask for help so instead of getting help or you know going to a spiritualist or someone that can help them navigate the spiritual waters or the spiritual war that they just don't really want to acknowledge exists they just walk around fucking shit up like, and as a person who is aware of what's going on, I just be like, 
I be sitting there, bitch, like, <laughs> like it's a movie, bitch. Like, did they just, did they just say that shit? Do they know people can see them? Damn. They know they gonna only be turned like this for, like, a couple weeks. They know that they words go have like longer effects and they still saying it mm, 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 mm. let me sip my motherfucking tea and click this motherfucking ticket bitch cause that ain't none of my business bitch that ain't none of my business my, <laughs> my thing in my phone say no unsolicited help bitch and I am taking that shit so hard bitch I don't be telling nobody nothing about what the fuck they got going on in their life I didn't see people talk crazy to people, do the craziest ass shit. I just be like, mm. but it's it's pushing my confidence because it requires me to be more secure in myself because it's people outside of me that'll come at me and be completely incorrect. Um, and my confidence one allows me to be kind because one I know God forget them. it's like forget them they don't know they don't even know what they doing they know what they doing but they don't know what they doing so father forget them cuz they don't know what they doing for real for real for real and like I I'm like I'm a I'm a a vessel for God like God is in me so like when they come at me sideways I really I I pray for them in the midst of it and pray that they you know you run across me and I'm cool. I, I, I'm, I'm attuned to God, but you might run across somebody who's not in, in tune with God. So like the way you, you, I responded to you, they may not respond to you and the, and the outcome may not be as good as the outcome with me, but it helps me build my confidence because like, I just gotta know that I know that I know that I know that, I know who I am and what I am and how I am. And when people come to me and, and either unload on me or take out a frustration on me or, or blame me for something, especially at a time like this, it, it really ain't got nothing to do with me. It's not anything personal. It's, it's them. So with that being said, like you move different. Like when somebody come at you sideways off the motherfucking wall, yeah, I got a bad attitude, but my attitude ain't going to be bad because I know you don't know better right now. You don't get mad at a kid for spilling orange juice on the fucking floor. It's a kid. It's a baby. And I look at these people as sometimes, as, at the world, really, sometimes as spiritual kids. It is what it is. It is what it is. Um, so, you know, that's the thing, too. So... Did I have another lesson from Mercury? I know what I'm going to talk about tomorrow on um, on Thorough Thursday. I'm going to talk about shadow work. But, so, those were the lessons that I got from Mercury today. Um, very interesting lessons. And just and understand, like, these lessons didn't just, like, appear in my head. Like, I had to go through something to learn the things that I learned. But... I'm learning. I ain't learning. I'm fucking learning. Um, we had 29 minutes, so there, there's that. Fenty, go buy you some Fenty panties. Buy your man, buy you some Fenty panties for your man. And then play some sexy ass round. S and S. It was it or is it S and S or S M S? Sticks and stones may break my bones, but chains and rips excite me. Get your man some dickless boxes. I don't know if she got dickless boxes. Um, the dickless boxes. Who wants dickless boxes? Who want a dickless man? That's another story for another day. Um, but um, get you some. Get your man some riri boxes so y'all can take cute Instagram pictures and be like, oh, we riri proud. Goals, bitch. I don't know. Fuck. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever you youngsters do. Whatever you youngsters do, do that. Um, Fenty. I told you I'm, I'm going to be a Fenty ambassador. I am going to manifest this shit. I'm going to be a fucking Fenty ambassador. Rand, I'm getting my body right. Because, like, I would like to be, like, I, I mean, I could be a plus size model for you, but I don't want to. I want, I, I don't know. I, that's not, that's not my goal for like my life. That's not my vision for my life. Um, so there's that. All right, guys, this was Mercury taught me, Mercury taught me. So this is what Mercury taught me today. Mercury, just a, a brief recap. Mercury taught me that some people like to be in control. Mercury taught me to be quiet. Mercury taught me to observe. Mercury taught me to decide what's important and 
are and and is what I'm giving my emotions to or or is what I'm giving my emotions to is it worth it um it taught me it taught me to take everything one day at a time and it taught me confidence um don't let people put their projections onto you. When you're when you are in the shout out to Lulu, I love when you're in tune with your star player. Can't nobody come in and tell you who you are, who you're not, and 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 upset you when they project their insecurities onto you. If you're really in tune with your star player, you a mirror to other people. So like people see who they are in you. Like, like, you know what a mirror is, right? <laughs> so you're a mirror. And a lot of times when people don't see the things that they like inside themselves, they try to put it onto you. And you just got to know that you're not that. So I feel like, um, I got my best friend ass crazy. Um, I'm going to play this song. Hopefully, they, they let this run. Hopefully, they let the Lecrae run. That's my this my shit. And I'm about to watch this creek. And like, like I told y'all, I'm, I'm, I got some dividends from some gold. We're going to talk about investments. I think that's my, that might be what I talk about Friday um, on Financial Friday. Um, but, uh. dad part so hopefully they let these these black these big boys run for a real nigga for a real nigga oh yeah i'm at 32 minutes bitch get your absentee ballot hey fucking vote guys you don't like the world we in vote i ain't had no money for prime day 